organism, the plant body has to undergo through the life cycle, through the transition, the phases of growth. You have already studied with me. So now the fruits after the ripening process, they are there on the tree, on the plant. They have to undergo senescence. Do you see that happening to the strawberry? Ethylene is going to make sure that that life cycle is getting completed. And senescence is a part of the lifespan. We have studied that. So it is going to bring the aging or the decay if we speak about the fruits especially. It can also bring about the senescence or the aging process like I told you in leaves as well as the flowers. You see the flowers withering away and the leaves what will happen? The chlorophyll, it will get degraded, the leaf will become yellow or brownish, okay. It will show downward, uh, it will bend downwards like this rather than this. Epinasty. Okay, so leaf becomes old by losing chlorophyll and and bending downwards. Okay, let's move further. Then abscission, which is nothing but the falling down of various organs. Falling down of various organs. Now that can be indicative of the completion of the life cycle or seasonal as well. Yes, so yellowing of leaves, falling of leaves, falling of flowers, that is all abscission. You can see a fruit is falling down after it is completely ripened and is ready for consumption. So that is abscission. It is just a part of the life cycle. Now children, this property of abscission, this effect of abscission by ethylene is used agriculturally in the agriculture by the growers to bring about thinning, to bring about thinning. What is thinning? I'm going to tell you. So what happens is, let's say a tree starts giving out fruits and flowers. It is in the reproductive stage. Now, we want more and more fruits and flowers to come. More the flowers, more the fruits. So for that, the tree or the plant needs space. There's only a particular load of fruits that plant can bear. We don't want a lot of competition to happen for the resources on that particular plant because that plant has is getting the water, is getting the um, light, it is taking nutrients from the soil. Right? So, sometimes in order for more and more flowers to come while the tree is in reproductive phase, we try to remove some of the fruits, some of the leaves, some of the flowers in the initial stages so that there is less competition, more space for the new fruits, for the new flowers to come. And this is called as thinning process. Thinning process. Sometimes what happens? The new fruits which come out because they get more space, they grow larger as well. Okay, have a look at this beautiful example. What is thinning? We are using the property of abscission caused by ethylene in causing thinning. What is thinning? It is reducing the number of fruits or other plant parts. What is the agricultural use? It causes new fruits to come. 
it is done in apple cotton these are the examples of thinning if you want to note down cherry and walnuts also light cotton is so useful for us commercially right so apple cotton cherry and walnut and in the figure you can see very clearly that here smaller apples are there but after thinning the apples get more space they don't have to compete for the resources so we see a slightly bigger apple here 